Let's face it, paying for pilot training is expensive and we all know that is and has been the biggest obstacle in becoming a commercial and pilot for most of us. But no matter where you are from, your dreams are valid. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, I am the winged engineer, a cadet pilot training under India's largest airline. So how much money you would require to get a CPL? If you plan to do your training from a good flight school in India, it would cost around 40 to 45 lakh rupees. If you plan to do your training from abroad, let's say USA, it will cost you around 50 to 55 lakh rupees in today's date. Which one's better you might ask? And it's simple, as I have done my flight training from USA, I consider it a better option. After that, type rating would cost you around 15 to 20 lakh rupees in case you are planning to do it on your own. Let's learn how people with dream of making a career in aviation can find their way to pay for flight school. I still remember I told my father that I wanted to become a pilot. My father asked, how much is it going to cost? I hesitantly said, it's around 1 crore. My father just laughed over it and disregarded the topic. Now this put me at stress. Despite of this indirect refusal, I was following my self-development regime for the cadet pilot program. Reading books, aviation related topics, practicing what it takes to become a good pilot and all of it. But now I had something else to worry about too. And that was how to arrange funds for my pilot training. So in that time, the options that I explored, either I could borrow from the bank, earn and save for a few years or I could take some private loan from relatives, friends, etc. I am going to share those options with you today. Option number one, getting a bank loan. Many banks nowadays provide loan for pilot training. A few examples are Bank of Baroda under the Gyan Dhan Yojana. This is the best option in my opinion. Check out link in description for more details about this Yojana. State Bank of India also offers educational loan. You can finance or borrow up to 90% of your pilot training cost with this type of loan. But wait, there's a catch. I couldn't do this on my own either. I realized there's a mortgage required for this. This mortgage needs to be valued 20 to 30% more than the amount you are intending to borrow. And for that mortgage, Papa, paise nahi, to property ke papers hi de do. Okay, now let's say you get the loan, but you need to pay it back too. Make sure to keep the borrowed amount to something that you can afford to pay EMI for. Right after your pilot training, the EMI will start. Interest will be calculated from the date of disbursement of the loan amount. From the experience of my friends who are pilots, I could say that at least keep a buffer of 18 to 24 months. It's great if you get a job right after you get your CPL in hand. But if not, you should still be in a position to afford the EMI for about 18 to 24 months. For this, I would suggest borrow 50% from the bank and 50% down payment. Option number two. Second option I had was to start working, do a job, gather funds and with that, money do pilot training i am a civil engineer and a certified gemologist from gi working as a civil engineer i would get about uh, 20 to 30 thousand salary per month even if i would say 100 percent of it it would take more than 20 years to gather funds with increments say 10 to 15 years i did not want to wait for that long so that option was out i started working in the gems business as a gemologist along with preparing for my cadet pilot assessments I did not know about DC exams. If I had known, in the meanwhile, I would have prepared for that as well. While working, I made good contacts, good work relations and built credibility in people around me. I considered borrowing some money from my colleagues, family and friends, but I was somewhat hesitant about it. I was making good money, money that an average 22 years old would be excited for. After all, I was working in the diamond industry. I was saving almost all the money I was making, but still it wasn't something that I could accumulate funds for cadet pilot fees with. I was rushing through a timeline. 
I had already applied for cadet pilot program. Opening dates for selection could have been out any day, but I persisted. Persisted with one goal of becoming a pilot. After a few months, something surprising happened. My father said, "I have been noticing your efforts. If you pass your assessment, I will arrange funds for it. And if you don't, never ever mention about pilot training again to me." My eyes were lit, and I accepted that challenge. Pass the assessment, and here we are. Now, what's in it for you? There's nothing wrong in doing civil engineering or mechanical or medicine if it's taking you closer to what you truly want to become. Be a great civil engineer or a doctor. Just don't be in two minds. No half measures. Decide where you want to be in your career. Choose one and then stick to it. Make sure that you succeed in it. I heard a quote once. We are all self-made, but it's only the successful ones that own it. If you are choosing pilot career, it's the same, be it after twelfth or engineering. If you want to become a pilot, choose something that could really get you closer to the goal of becoming a pilot. If you don't have sufficient funds available or access to funds by the means of loan, get a job that either pays well or get a job that is in aviation industry, a job such as cabin crew, ground staff, technician. something that can keep you relevant with this field be great at it while you are doing it with one goal of becoming a pilot one day persistence might be a boring word but it's one of the most powerful character traits gone are the days when only the one from an affluent family could dream of becoming a pilot the world wants to see your skills and not how deep your pockets are If you truly believe in the power of your dreams, you can accomplish something that you love passionately by finding or making your own pathway to success. But when you are investing in an education and skills that can literally take you anywhere you want to go in life, the sky is the limit for you. I tried to provide information in this video by sharing my experience of arranging funds for pilot training. If I have provided some value in this video, consider clicking that subscribe button. if you haven't already also one point that i would like to mention is it may or may not be clearly visible to you but believe in this that your parents are your well wishers make sure that they are in financial capacity to fund your training if you are borrowing money from them that's all for today's topic see you in the next video thank you for watching